The Eternal Alliance is getting stronger every day, Commander. Worlds across the galaxy have sent us tribute, and everyone respects your authority as Emperor. Well, almost everyone. There's another rebellion on Zakul. What are your orders? Make an example of the rebels. Turn their hideout into a smoking crater. If you say so. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocan? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm hmm Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the superweapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it! Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iacath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. They'll stand down if they know what's good for them. Get me Empress Asina and whoever's leading the Republic forces these days. That would be Supreme Commander Jace Malcolm. Judging by enemy comm traffic, it sounds like Asina and Malcolm are leading the charge on Iacath. So much for our alliance with the Empire. That super weapon must be quite the prize. According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Between the Eternal Throne and this super weapon, I could conquer entire star systems before breakfast. But first, we will need to secure it. We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the fleet spire and start clearing the landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, converge on Iocath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. Hello, Iocath. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the superweapon.
The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Good as a fleet of invincible warships, if they refuse to follow my orders. We'll get them back online. If there's any work around, we'll find it on Iogath. Don't be rude, Lana. Introduce me to your friends. Commander, meet the assassins I captured. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. You're looking more potent than ever, my lord. Quinn? Is that you? In the flesh. Have you come to stab me in the back again? Or was once enough? I will go to my grave, regretting the treachery I undertook for Darth Barris. You'll go there sooner than you think, Major. I hate to interrupt this reunion, but I have a time-sensitive request. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you, in private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line. Both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm, Empress Asina, your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't turn my eternal fleet on you both. I can explain, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. Iocath belongs to the Eternal Alliance. Why should I share any part of it with you? Consider it payment for driving off the Imperial looters. This is preposterous. The Empire openly supported your Eternal Alliance, while the Republic watched from the sidelines. You once fought for the Empire as Wrath personified. Now you can embrace that power once more. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. Why should I side with either of you when I can strike out alone and take the superweapon for myself? Iokath is extremely dangerous. As strong as we are, we won't survive a week for fighting both armies for control of the world. Especially with the Eternal Fleet stuck in the mud. We can achieve great things, but only if we work together. Say the word. And my forces will join your offensive. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! <laughs> she got away. We'll deal with her later. 
Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, we'll continue with this reunion later. For now, I need you to defend the Fleet Spire. With pleasure, my lord. The Republic scum will rue the day they trespassed on Iacath. May the Force serve us all. It's been far too long since I've spilled Republic blood. I haven't had this much fun since our time on Droman Kars. And once again we stand triumphant against our foes. We have secured our base and sent the Republic troops whimpering back to their master. You killed a handful of grunts. I held off an entire army. I was overseeing our defense, but I take your point. If I know the Supreme Commander, he's already plotting the Republic's next move. Strike teams Auric and Greg suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your orders. <sighs> Rosina must be loving this, but her victory belongs to her ally. You compile the report on the Alliance Commander. What's your recommendation? He's a hardened veteran with extensive personnel and resources. Even with our numbers, I doubt our chances in a head-to-head -head battle. Asymmetrical tactics would be best. A surprise attack. Surgical and precise. Then we'd better shock the Alliance Commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Iocaf. What are we looking at? The Republic has erected a formidable base. Their defenses are impressive, but they lack the supplies needed for a long campaign. If we lay siege to Malcolm's base, we can suffocate the Republic offensive and win the war. Malcolm knows our weaknesses. If we give him enough time, he'll find a way to exploit them. Then we attack swiftly, destroy his base, and leave the Republic in ruins. It's our best shot. And that's why Malcolm will be expecting it. He'll ambush us the second we enter the base. We'll be trapped inside, running blind, and locked in the Republic's sights. Danger only makes things more fun. Indulge me for a moment. My scouts recently found a weapons factory. It's guarded by a host of Iacath droids and filled to the brim with dangerous toys. What do you say we plunder the factory, then use what we find to annihilate Malcolm's base? You could have mentioned the factory sooner. You were hoping to take it for yourself, weren't you? All due respect, Commander, but you sound paranoid. I had no such intention. No more secrets. Understood? Of course. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocat's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. And let's hope it stays that way. Even all this time later, I can still feel the agony of its final moments. Something horrible happened here. Thanks for the nightmare, Father. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. Iocath's even more impressive in person. Its technologies will defend the Republic soon enough. We've nearly finished construction, but the schematics are missing key pieces of data. Time is short, Captain. Find a workaround. Right away, sir. We can't fail now. The fate of the Republic rests on our shoulders. I'd say that's enough firepower to get Malcolm a run for his money. 
Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Search the records for any signs of what wiped them out. It looks like Iocath's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. This weapon keeps getting better the more I hear about it. We're not talking about your standard mass killing machine. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. I could unleash it on any Republic world I want. I could take Coruscant. That's what scares me. There. I've downloaded Arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... ...that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? I've been thinking. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? Timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Empire. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data, and they're identical. I'm confident the Republic received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone. We can't be sure who to trust. I couldn't agree more. The Shroud would normally be a suspect, but we've already cracked that mystery. And then there's Darth Jadis, or a rogue agent inside the Republic SIS. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. Meet the Crimson Talon. A joint Imperial Alliance production, outfitted with Iacath weaponry and ready for you to pilot in battle. If I'd known we were exchanging gifts, I wouldn't have shown up empty-handed. Bring me Malcolm's head, and we'll call it even. Incoming call. Supreme Commander Malcolm, have you called to surrender? Not quite. Consider this a friendly warning. My engineers have discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Republic. An attack against me is an attack against Theron. Would you really sacrifice your son? I had a son, once. He dedicated his life to defending the Republic. I dedicated my life to the fight for peace. And when you bowed to the Eternal Empire, I decided to fight back. That's why I joined the Alliance. And your idealistic war nearly destroyed the Republic. Goodbye, Agent Sean. Damn it, Malcolm. Harness that rage, Theron. Use it to crush your father's resistance. Let's move out. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead our charge. Crush the Republic. Where's Malcolm? Right here. Last chance. Surrender, or I activate the superweapon. No deal. Theron, you wouldn't. Take the shot. I'm sorry. Theron. Don't do it, Malcolm.
see a radiant city, bathed in light, forged by the molten gods. Malcolm! The super weapon is glorious, and it belongs to the Republic! It was out a matter of time before Malcolm snapped. No, Commander. It's you who are blind. No! The gates are closing! Sir! Your connection to the throne is breaking down! Super weapon controls are failing! No. I can still see it. I know what I must do. They're coming. Father! It's too late, Theron. We can't give up now. I guess I won't either. <laughs> I barely knew him, and now he's gone. When the war's over, you can bury him in the ashes of the Republic. You always had a great bedside manner. <laughs> Malcolm's power flux knocked out the super weapons defenses. Killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. Don't worry, Lana. We'll handle the superweapon. You'll never reach it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. Be safe. Both of you. You too, Commander. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. Found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne. Just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iocan. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? as an expert strategist. If she took me down, the galaxy would be as good as hers. I always thought she had a case of throne envy. Why stop with Asina? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I can't take any more chances. If someone so much as scratches their nose, I want to hear about it. We'll form a surveillance team. 
everyone will be considered a suspect. Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? Someone stabbed me in the back. Was it you? This is preposterous. Answer the question. My life is an open book. Scour every detail and you'll find I would never betray you. I'll be the judge of that. So be it. Just don't let my dirty laundry distract you from the war. You've dealt a crushing blow to the Republic, but they stubbornly refuse to surrender. A fight for Iacath rages on. The Republic can't fight forever. Without Malcolm's guidance, they'll be crushed between our armies. It's so close I can almost taste it. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Iacath with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Excuse me, my lord. We'll give you two a moment alone. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. It's been a long time, Quinn. Too long. After you disappeared, I spent months on the hunt. Minister Lawman even heard about my crusade and ordered me to call off the search. He wanted the Emperor's wrath to stay missing. Naturally, I refused and found myself in Imperial prison. I was locked away for years until Empress Asina pardoned me shortly before you retired, the poor minister. Yet still, you remained in hiding. I actually tried to approach you once when you visited a Sina on Drummond Cass. But I lost my nerve. I worried you'd never forgive me. For Darth Barris, for returning to the Empire. You're dead to me, Quinn. Please, I can explain. I should have crushed the life from your body the second you betrayed me to Darth Barris. My lord! I have dreamt of this moment for years. Now, after all this time, I finally get to watch you die. Commander! Oh, I see. So much for Major Quinn. Anyone who betrays me will share Quinn's fate. I certainly hope so. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You'll need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, then hope for the best. I've already conquered one throne. This will obey me just as easily. Let's hope you're right. Oh, yeah.
You were just a machine, stranded on a dead planet, and worshipped by a bunch of tin cans. Darkness. Lies. Show me your rage. You burn with fury, immolation, anger, a sacrifice, superior. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty, distracted by trust. You did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow, the traitor. You are betrayed. I'm the ruler of the Eternal Alliance, of the galaxy. Who would dare turn against me? One, mark my anger, pain. Hope eroding. The betrayer lured you to Iotath, igniting war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you sacrifice prime, fuel for the six gods. I'm not an offering. I'm your destroyer. Rage. Ah! No. You fall! And the gods rise! Ships of the Eternal Fleet! Open fire! Outlander, the tapestry of fate joins us once more. We are all that remains of the Scions of Zakul. We have come to aid your quest, just as the prophecy foretold. I've already toppled the Eternal Empire and taken the throne. What more can you help me with? You still face your greatest challenge. The God of Rage. You're talking about the giant droid, the super weapon. What you call a super weapon, we know as one of the six gods. They were forged on Iokath in a forgotten age. Their master set them loose upon Zakul, killing millions, and giving birth to our pantheon of gods. Now Tithe has reawakened, and his brethren will soon join him to destroy us all. Your gods are nothing more than oversized droids. And like all machines, I can melt them down for scrap metal. No one. But you can tame it. Your fate is already written. You will clash with the gods. And when you subdue them, you will be judged worthy to take possession of their shells. You will drive the Titans against your Republic enemies and become a god yourself. Where do I sign up? You already walk the path. You are destined to confront the gods. Beyond that, your fate remains unseen. Perhaps you will impress the god of rage and assume his mantle to march against the Republic. Or you will perish and fade from history. I will contact you if we see more. But for now, your ultimate fate is clouded in darkness. <laughs> <laughs>